Welcome. This tutorial builds on what we saw in the getting started tutorial. You can see that the project we're working with is more or less the same exact one we had previously. There, uh, there's just a tiny addition to this one and uh, let me point out the, the couple little changes here. So first thing is I just said uh, allow user resizing on the window and what that does is it allows us to resize the window with your mouse as you'd expect. And uh, over here is a new instance variable called uh, policy that's the scene resolution policy. Uh, now the scene resolution policy is probably one of my favorite features in NES. So that's all we're going to go over in this particular video is what exactly that is, uh, what it does, and why it's going to save you tons of time. So if you want to read up on it, the FAQs have a scene entity component and in there you can see this section here is the scene resolution policy and it explains all of the available ones. So let's go back over here and uh, let's add a teeny bit of code here. So what we have here is we're just setting that policy and the only reason we're storing this in an instance variable here is because uh, a new text component was added. This is the, the only addition to the actual scene and all it's doing is displaying the current policy so that we can see on screen what it is. So there's quite a few different policies and none is the default and it basically just means uh, that the the screen will work just like a default, the window will work just like a default mono game window. So when you resize the window nothing really changes. It just displays exactly what, what you have going on there. So what NES does in the background here is it's uh, it's actually creating a render texture and a render target in the mono game speak and uh, it'll create the render target when you're using the screen res resolution policy of none of the exact window size. So whatever your window size is what the the render target size is going to be. Now right here in this line what we're doing is we're just setting the default so basically you get to set the size your default resolution and the scene resolution policy and what will happen is any scene that you create will use this policy and size so you can just set it once at the beginning or at launch and any scenes you create will just be set up automatically now you can also set this per scene but generally, uh, most games are just going to want to have that set once for the entirety of the game. Uh, now, some scene resolution policies don't have anything to do with this resolution, so they'll ignore the resolution. For example, the one we were just looking at, the none policy, it doesn't care what your design time resolution is. It, it will literally just, it's, it ignores them and just goes full screen always, so there's nothing happening with this one. So let's actually take a look at what we have here. So... We'll start with, uh, we're just going to run through these one by one so you can, it really helps to actually see what's happening with these. So this is the exact fit one. This is the only scene resolution policy that will, uh, will actually distort the image. So our design time resolution is 400 by 300. And what that actually means is what is your artwork created at? Like what, what were you actually, when you were doing your initial design, what is the size of the artwork? So some things that's more important than others, but let's just take a look at what we got here. So exact fit is basically just saying this scene is going to have a size of the a 400 width by 300 height, no matter what. So you can see we have some, uh, some squashing going on here. And if we were to make this smaller, it's even more squashed. And then if we go the other direction, it'll actually stretch. So if we, we were to shrink it this way, we're actually going to squash it. So it's always going to be exactly 400 by 300, no matter what you do. So it's going to end up uh, being distorted. Unless your window is exactly 400 by 300. So that's probably the least useful. So let's go through some more here. So we have a fixed height here. You also notice some of these have pixel perfect variants, and I'll explain that momentarily. So fixed height is going to essentially ex ignore the width that we set, and it's only going to care about the height. It's going to make sure that no matter what happens to the actual window size, there's only ever going to be 300 pixels viewable in height. 
and you can see how it how it scales the you know keeps the height always exactly the same but the width it doesn't care about okay so just to to have a, a cursory understanding of what is happening behind the scenes uh, what Nez is actually doing is it's uh, it's rendering always into a render target and it does that for a variety of reasons one is so that it, uh, you can have complete and total control over what's happening uh, now Nez future tutorials will explain this a little bit but Nez has a post-processing system as well so you can add post-processing effects to your scene easily. So having it render into a render target makes this dramatically easier. So we're only ever going to render to the actual screen during the final copy of the render target. Everything else will always be rendered into these different render targets. Now when you're doing a fixed height, this is going to make sure that the render target always has a height of 300. And it'll resize the render target as the window resizes itself. So now let's take a look at what the fixed height pixel perfect does. So first explanation with the pixel perfect stuff is pixel perfect is really going to be uh, only useful for pixel art. It just so happens the two sprites that are in this particular demo scene are pixel art, but uh, you know you're not always going to use pixel art for games that do use pixel art. Having a pixel perfect variant is super handy. So what this is going to we're going to end up with with letter boxes here, and what this is doing is it's making sure that the height of this window is always either 300 pixels or a multiple of 300. So, for example, we'll, the available heights for this will be 300, 600, 900, 1200. And as you change the size, it's not actually going to resize that until it can fit the next size up. So right there, you can see this is where we, we jump to the next pixel perfect resolution. And as we drop it, you can see it drops down to the next pixel perfect. And once we get here, it drops it again. So it's always going to keep this height pixel perfect multiple of 300. And the width doesn't matter. The width will vary in this one. So that's pixel perfect. So fixed width is exactly the same as fixed height. Just instead of the height being fixed, we have the width fixed. So in this particular instance, you can see that we get width never changing in this. Now, if we start changing the height, it doesn't matter. The This particular resolution policy doesn't care about height. Only interested in keeping the width exactly 400 pixels. And fixed width pixel perfect. Same exact thing before. We're going to have uh, letter boxing here, or pillar boxing, I suppose it would be in this. And it's always going to keep that pixel perfect, and it'll only jump to that next size up Oop, we don't have enough room so let's jump to the next size down so it'll only jump up or down when it can do so pixel perfect and we should be able to get one more jump down there oh no nope, that's the small so this is 400 so once we jump here we go 400 the next size is 800 there okay so it also uh, of importance here is when we're dealing with render targets and we're not actually using the full resolution of the screen, uh, we have to do a little bit of uh, of modification to the mouse coordinates. So, as an example, if we're if we're in this particular scene, so we have a 400, we're doing a fixed width, and it's 400 width. So, if we we're in this size, this is actually 800 width. So, when our mouse is is located over here on the 800th pixel across. Uh, that's not actually where it is. We're always going to be dealing with our design time resolution. So Nez is actually going to keep your mouse position scaled so that it always goes from 0 over here to 400 over here. So this lets you, when you're setting up your game with your design time resolution, you can always, you'll always know exactly what your coordinate system is and it's always going to be clamped to your your design time resolution. Now in the case of the fixed width, the height will vary, so the height will actually change. Okay, next one we have here, no border. So this one might actually crop. So what it does is, uh, in this particular case, you can see it is cropping. So this is uh, this is basically just going to try to do a best fit based on your design time resolution. So it'll always 
keep everything as close to possible, but the easiest way to see this is if you look up here, you'll see that right here is just about exactly right, but as we, we change this a little bit, it's gonna do a little bit of cropping. So it's gonna do its best to always keep things at the exact size that you want, or the exact uh, aspect ratio. So when we look at this with Pixel Perfect, it becomes more clear what it's actually doing. So No Bordo Pixel Perfect is gonna make sure that our screen is always 400 by 300 and it's never has pillar boxes or letter boxes. So it's gonna do some cropping on occasion and as we drop it, once we hit a, a point where it reduces the size, you can see where it just jumped in size there, it'll always be multiples because it is a pixel perfect variant. Okay, next up. So show all, and uh, this is going to make sure that everything is always visible. So it will do pillar boxing and it will do letter boxing, but it's always gonna make sure that you have 400 by 300 visible. And of course this has a pixel perfect variant as well. So we can have a look at what that looks like. So this could, uh, because of pixel perfect, it could end up both letter box and pillar box as it does right here. And again, as we change our size, you'll notice it doesn't actually bump it up until it can do so in a multiple. And it also won't bump it down until it can do so in a multiple. So it makes it super easy to keep everything pixel perfect for you. And that's it. That is the scene resolution policy in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.